game. I'm changing it. This game is being a pain in my butt cheek. Um, let me see. Let me see, is there a game? I have an idea. Title copy. Okay, set title. And what was the other game? Uh, there we go. But then I need to. Oh, ups. I messed up, hold on. Hmm. There we go. Which one was I on? I was on two, right? I think I was on two. Oh, you mean throat baby? Because you did the art, which made me confused. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to show. Why is it not letting me change the game? Window capture, there we go. I don't know where he is. S load game. Load game. Okay, so now I have to remember what I was doing last time. I'm having trouble remembering what I did last time. Let's see my inventory. Oh yeah, the summoning artifacts. I'm missing one though. I think. Oh, God damn it, every time. Oh wait, now I need to check if uh, YouTube is still Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, I got, uh, for me, I got stuck on um Muppet Treasure Island by the way and I couldn't figure out how to get east and then I went to start over and then there was no key to get into the chest and now I'm just gonna play a different pirate game let me see where is where is where is it I need to figure out where I was.
There we go. <laughs> yeah. But it's very difficult to figure out once you don't have the E. I probably missed it. McGillicuddy ship. ship, wherever that is. Let's get McGillicuddy. Aye, aye, sir. Oh, okay. Shove up, Scruffy. Scruffy, you know how long it took me to grow this beard this way? <laughs> Tell me the ritual words, or you'll be sleeping with the fishes. That's where I sleep anyway. Tell me, or I'll send you to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, that'd be great. I need to pick up a few things for dinner. Yo, Captain! Why do you keep bothering me? Hey, is that your face or... Oh. Oh, I see. It is your face. <laughs> Awkward. Gah! You be wearing on me nerves, Sweetwood. Don't you ever get tired of losing? Oh, I don't intend on losing this time. Yes, I did it. Give me your best shot. Did he just say motherfucker? No! My ship! Damn you, Freepwood! Uh, it's me, Garbosh Freepwood. Why did you Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That'll teach you to mess with Guybrush. Oh no, the Merleader. Nicely done, Guybrush. Once underwater, I was easily able to escape. The Vecalians are in your debt. Now let's go home. Good show, sir. I knew you'd make a good captain from the moment I saw your beard. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Now, back to the jerkbait islands before they... Oh, shit. Worse. Oh, I forgot something. I forgot something. Uh, shit. Uh, what? Yeah. I, like I had a new guy brush viewer thing. Oh, very well, Mr. Winslow. Guy brush. There we go. I forgot about that. Let's get out of here, Mr. Winslow. Point to jerk bait. Buha. Set sail for the jerk bait islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Guy brush Threepwood. On behalf of the yeah, I mean, I made this image, by the way. I wish to extend our it's thanks and it's Guy Fieri brush, but Please I like to call him Guy brush. Uh, how about a reward instead? Guy brush, indeed. I return to you in its former glorious state, your prized pyrite parrot of Petaluma. Ah. It's me, Garbosh Freepwood. Why pirate? pirate? I know. Thanks. If there is anything else <laughs> I can offer you, please feel free to ask. Your thanks is enough. And, and your gold. Give us all your gold. <laughs> oh God, she's crazy. Sorry. Something got stuck in my throat. <laughs> Actually, there is something. Actually, there is one thing. I sort of let a sponge grande to fix that. God damn Especially it again. Now. Another person? I don't care about your stupid fucking website thing in Bob. I missed what they said. Did you guys hear what she said? Because I missed it. I have the artifact. Will you perform the ceremonial ritual to summon the legendary sea creatures to take me there? You guy. Damn YouTube. I don't 
Why do you YouTube people? Oh, okay, whatever. Rush are the holder of the summoning items. You must be the one to use them. Come, give me the artifact. I will teach you the ritual words. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. She held her hand out for a reason. Throw it with all your might into the ocean. Then speak these words. Oh, great legendary creatures of the sea. Come on, come on, boys. Get the ball. You want the ball? Huh? 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 You want the ball? Come get it. <laughs> Those are the ceremonial ritual words? So it has been written. When you are ready, they will wow. your ship okay, to be. Again, thank you, Guybrush Threepwood. And good luck in your journey. Well, that's that. But come on, Elaine. Let's get that sponge and go home. I can continue with the facts, though. I, just need to check up on the chuck and I haven't even scraped the bottom of the barrel of it. I'll meet you at your ship in just a moment. Uh, hey, Arnold! I think the chuck was less of a nuisance when he was... The cartoon. You know, the cartoon on Nickelodeon. That Well, that was on Nickelodeon. Let me see if I can find the image that goes with it. Was originally shown on Sesame Street. Oh, I don't have the picture. Why don't I have the picture? It was originally on Sesame Street. At, oh, I found the picture. As a claymation. Who would have guessed that Hey Arnold himself was was the thing before but not as famous and it was on sesame street too crazy to think about it's an evil zombie demon okay where am i supposed to go <laughs> shit i forgot where i'm supposed to go la esponja grande Let's see, where do I go? Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Oh wait, shit. Set sail for the jerkbait islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threefwood. We're already here. I thought you'd say uh but we're already here. Oh. Go to the end of the dock. Right here, and use the summoning ball artifact. Well, here goes nothing. Here, boys, come and get it. Oh, shoot. Man, he sucks at throwing. Ooh, cute. Kind of. Oh my god, it's a family! I see the ocean beasties have been summoned. Are we ready to go then? Yes. Yes. Well, almost. I'm still waiting for Elaine and stupid LeChuck to get here. Something about monkeys or pants, I don't know. Guybrush. Elaine, there you are. Come on, let's go. LeChuck, been great seeing you again. Hope the human thing works out for you. I got a wife to go home and snuggle with. Later. Guybrush, I'm not coming with you. What? It's these monkeys. Well, I'm going to need help getting these poor little guys back to their homes. You go and get a spawn your grande. You don't need me for that. Let a spoon job. I should keep an eye on LeChuck. Trust me, sweetie. Okay. Don't worry, boy. I'll take good care of her while you're gone. Lane, you know what he sounds like? The king from the CDI Zelda games. Mr. Winslow, follow those sea creatures. Um, the map. Again with the map? I like the map. Forget about the map. Just go. I thought we agreed. 
making us look bad. Just go. All right, all right, I'm going. <laughs> to Esponja Grande. Did I just? Oh, okay, never mind. Are we almost there, Mr. Winslow? I'm not sure, Captain Deepwood. I'm just following the beasties. I have no idea where they're going. And to be honest, I'm not sure they do either. No, they do. We'll be fine, they Mr. should. Winslow. Just stay on course. Ah, this is the sweet pirate life. Out in the deep blue with your best ship and crew searching for the world's rarest treasures, which just happens to be a giant voodoo sucking sea sponge in this case. Makes you wonder why anyone would consider any other life. Am I right, Mr. Winslow? Mr. Winslow? You Us is back. Miss me? Not really. Turns out the Marquis isn't satisfied with just your hand. He wants the complete package. So I'm taking over this ship and taking you back to Flotsam Island. Try anything funny, and the short one gets it. Okay, what do I do? Why don't you give this up? Join me instead. We can sail together, see the world, just you and me, looting and pillaging in every harbor. It could be just like <sighs> you always dreamed. As wonderful as that sounds, Guybrush, I do have a job to do. Besides, you're already married to Elaine. Yeah, but she never lets me do any looting or pillaging either. Huh. You don't have the skills or the wit to defeat Guybrush Threepwood. I don't need wit to carve a bloody hole in your chest. See, that wasn't witty at all. Uh, Captain... Something's happening to the sea creatures. Go ahead, run him through. I don't think you have the guts. Why must you tempt her, sir? Don't worry, she won't do it. She's only got orders to bring me in. Killing you wouldn't bring her any profit. He's right, I'm afraid. It's part of the Pirate Hunter's code. Don't kill anyone you aren't getting paid to. So, I'll just kill you, Guybrush. And you think the Marquis will pay you for bringing in my lifeless corpse? Believe me, this dead body is totally worthless. True. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? La Sponja Grande. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a giant seal? What was that? What is that? This is the last thing I was expecting. Chapter 3. Don't worry though. Don't worry, don't worry. Chapter 3. <laughs> Chapter 3, wood. But um. There's no Kyogre. Why did you? Oh! That took me a second to realize what you were talking about. Game capture. Window capture. There we go. Load. Wait, what? Oh yeah, that's right, I have to start a new game. <laughs> uh, is honey truly a syrup though? It could be a sap. It is said that we are never so vulnerable than when we trust, but... Oh fuck. We cannot trust, neither can... Huh. Apparently honey isn't a syrup. 
I just looked it up. What? What is hun what is honey then? Unless it's a simple syrup. I I don't know. But whatever, we're not going through this again. <laughs> Trust me. Our trust, neither can we find our heart's desire. Guy brush tree wood, trusting in tree wood. Tree wood. Wow, Twitch is a lot faster than YouTube. His voodoo spell unleashes a pox on the Caribbean. He escapes from Flotsam Island to pursue huh. his wife Elaine. Interesting. And to find a cure to the pox that infects them both. My understanding is on it's a syrup, islands, so when maple Guy syrup is maple. Elaine together with his arch enemy, so maple, what you're saying is maple syrup isn't syrup, it's something else called maple? Ghost pirate and seeks the cure on his own. Hunted by the lethal Morgan Lafley, hmm. must right his wrong Weird. by finding La Sponja Grande. Oh, okay, I see. No, it's a maple flavored syrup. And the beast is hungry. Hmm. But honey. Hmm. I don't believe it. Well, you better believe it, sister. Wait, believe what? Because. I guess. Honey comes from high. high uh, beehives, though. So maybe it's not a syrup. From my understanding. Molasses? What about molasses? Oh yeah, that's a syrup. What does molasses come from? Hold on. I need to see what molasses... What is molasses? What is molasses? Molasses is the sugar beet and sugar cane refinement process. It's sugar. That's what it is. It's brown sugar. But it's a very sticky syrup. I, I can vouch for that being a syrup. Because, I mean, it, it has the consistency of a really thick syrup. And it's really sticky like syrup. And they both have sugar in it. I don't know. But... Honey could definitely be a syrup. Hold on, hold on. Yikes. Well, this is a thick dark syrup made Guy during brush? the sugar making I'm process for sugar cane or sugar beets or crust. I'm sorry, I'm inside and the juice is accepted, the juice is then boiled down to form sugar crystals which are removed from the liquid. Look behind you! Oh, I've heard that one before. SouthernLiving.com Interesting Wait, is that where you found it? Well, that's a lot of foodstuffs Ew. F molasses or uh, honey? Because molasses is definitely a thick syrup. Because, I mean, it runs like a uh, syrup, but just slower. Oh God, itchy back. Let's see. What is the difference between molasses and syrup? Difference between molasses and syrup. This produces the first molasses, which has the highest sugar content boiling at the second time produces the second molasses, which has a sl ew. The third boiling produces the black syrup molasses, which has less sugar content 
contain certain amounts of vitamins and minerals. Wait, there's three different kinds of molasses? There's the first where you, where it's like diabetes person killer, like it kills people with diabetes. The second it has a bitter taste, but uh, less sugar, I guess. And the third time gives it less sugar and more vitamins and minerals from what I understand. Should I get a silver? I don't know why we're talking about molasses and syrup and honey right now. Oh yeah, you brought something up, that's right. Well done, sir. Walk the body bounty huntress right into a trap. You have to admire her stick to itiveness. She's out cold. Stab her in the butt. I need to get back on the track to finding La Esponja Grande. I'm gonna go find a way out of here, preferably through the front door, not the uh, <clears throat> service entrance. I'll keep an eye on Miss Lafay. If she says, <laughs> I'll give the old uh, the you know what? I don't want to know what that is. This isn't to humor you, but anything you can dip something in, I would consider a sauce. Or something where you put it over food. Sauce. Especially if it's liquidy. Like, pouring syrup. Um, not syrup. Um... Frosting over something sauce just a very sugary sauce Depending upon if it's a confectionery or like chicken or something talk about roughing tipping chi I wonder if out. dipping chicken tastes good on <laughs> um, I wonder uh, if uh, dipping chicken in um, What you call it Makes it not taste good a chicken in frosting. I wonder if that tastes good. Probably to some people. In here? I'm on my way to a very important artifact to be acquired for a very important You got me there. I hate to be the Caramel one to you, is a sauce. Of an I guess it depends on what you're using to make the syrup. Heavens no. I'm not stuck. Quite the contrary. It's all part of the plan of the ocean gods. The I don't mean to argue or anything. This is just... The having a conversation. Well, I think molasses is a little thicker too, a thicker consistency than caramel. Okay, just making sure. Because yesterday, whatever, but that's in the past. Um, but yeah, caramel, I guess, is a sauce. And yeah, I think it's the consistency. You made a lock picking kit out of toenails? That's right. You didn't try the Yeah, it's definitely the consistency pick? difference. That's for amateurs. Because I mean molasses is slower than caramel. Years. I think has been even longer than expected. And molasses is thicker, but I guess it depends on the syrup, I guess, because there's thicker syrups and, and not th as thick. Yikes. Well done. You have found Coronado de Cava and are one step closer to La Esponja Grande. De Cava and his crew will prove indispensable on your quest. And while the puck spreads with every passing moment, you that must looks weird. Lightly, well, if you boil liquid to sugars, it gets thicker the more you evaporate the water. Oh! A bit of a oh! Soul, so please, I, implore you, I didn't think about that. Me. The syrup is, I guess, sugar. Do not tell him where you acquired his locket. Where did you get this? Who sent you? What are you doing here? I'm here to retrieve La Esponja Grande. The voodoo lady sent me. 
She what? Me dio, that good timing sooth saying strumpet. Huh? Lie sponja is to be mine to give to her as a gargantuan absorbent symbol of my fiery passion. I'm gone for two seconds and she's making yes. with a prepubescent. I would I would oh, say like syrup that. is a less viscous oh, sauce. Right. We're hardly even friends. Right. So, so syrup is definitely sauce. Value, We've come to the conclusion. I mean, barbecue sauce you, you dip chicken in, I mean, and um, French toast sticks you dip in syrup. Sorry, I just thought very drippy, you know. Have you held her in your arms? What? No, I'm married. Look. I don't say a ring, senior Librash. Ah, I left it with my other hand. I'll kill you. I'm not after the voodoo lady's heart or La Esponja Grande. Then why are you here? Um, vacation. Is that so? Yes. Honeymooning, in fact. With your invisible wife? My very real wife. Uh, let me just go get her. I shall await her alleged arrival with tantalizing disbelief. Oh yeah, that's right. W A S and D. He doesn't believe I'm married. Winslow, I need to revive Morgan and present her to Dakaba as my fifth wife. My, that reminds me of the time when. Now, Winslow, Dakaba's crazy. Good to me. Well, I'm Will. I keep getting people. Into my YouTube live. Uh, wait, why does it say it's still say Muppet Treasure Island for charity? I changed the name. I forgot I had guy brush, like actual guy brush. Okay, back to the game. Trade in naval first aid. Do as I say. First things first. Take her pulse and see if she's alive. What? She might be dead? You never know about these things. Her wrist, Captain. She just she's moving though. Very good. Her pulse is strong. What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. This is for Chuck Bender. Hmm. Excellent. She's alive and kicking. Which reminds me. Next, remove any and all weapons from the victim. We don't want her thrashing about and lopping off any more appendages. Good thinking. <laughs> all right, I've got her sword. It's engraved with a name, Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Gomez, not on the carpet. Now, elevate <laughs> her feet to help with circulation. Got it. Okay. Wait, what happened? Elevating her feet. What's this? An assassin's ledger. Fascinating. Who knew bounty hunters were so meticulous? Gus. Oh no. Oh god, burst three points. She still hasn't come round. A most curious case. If only we had smelling salts, that would do the trick. Smelling salts? Do I have smelling salts? I do not. Oh yeah, I can walk. I forgot about that. Hey, Dakaba. Get away from me, or I'll kill you! 
You don't sail another man's ship simply because he left it in the harbor? Let's see, do we have snorting salts? Narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. Of course not. We have nothing. Nothing. Ooh, I almost forgot. My pyrite parrot. Never leave home without it. Oh, it must have been jostled out of my pockets and washed away during ingestion. It's gone forever. Hey, Decaba. Get away from. Okay, there's no snoring salts. What is there then? The narwhal's quarters. They're resplendent. I believe smelling salts would revive Miss Lafley. Pity our first aid kit was swept overboard during ingestion. How do I? What am I supposed to do then? She still has. Do I just take off my shoe? No, that would be interesting. Hey, oh fuck! Get I didn't mean to w run that far. I think the narwhal's crow's nest will let me access the manatee's sinus. Oh, I didn't think about that. It's like climbing a tree. You station passage. While it may look like it's full of candy, I believe the cochlea is key to this manatee's sense of direction. Ew. I've seen my fair share of flesh wounds, and this one is world class. A cochlea or inner ear? Hmm. I may have gone to public school, but I think those are supposed to come in pairs. <laughs> hmm. Manatee earwax. Rotten and pungent. Perfect. Oh. Ew. Really? Wow, he's bad at this. Where's, oh, there's my ass. She still isn't. Check this out. I have repugnant earwax. Guybrush. Oopsie daisy, moan adversaire. That'll teach you to take a legendary pirate at sword point. You lost your weapon privileges. <sighs> Where are we? We've been swallowed by a giant manatee, and you're about to pose as my fake wife in order to placate a puzzle-obsessed whack job. Oh, no, I'm not. As much as I'd love to play house with the Guybrush Threefoot, I'm already late getting you back to Flotsam Island. Listen here, you poor excuse for a pissy privateer. Any more than better you, and the captain will be sending your carcass on a tour of the small intestine. I guess we call this the good pirate, bad pirate routine. Oh, my. <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry. I think I ought to rest for a spell. Must have taken a mouthful of something vile on the way down. <laughs> See? That's the pox. It turns people into whatever that was, and it's in the process of... A voodoo bad rat! Even Elaine. Okay, fine. But you have to do something for me. Uh, for me, I figured out who donated the dollar. Now you want to hang me in your locker? I was just doing my job. Give it here. Now, let's go deal with Cookie Coronado de Cava. You're my make-believe wife, so just act like that. In case you weren't here for that. Well, well, well. The panty-waisted pirate wannabe has found himself a lady. Coronado, I'd like to introduce you to my wife. Morgan. Right. 
So as you can see, there is no way I could be romantically affiliated with the voodoo lady. I am a one-woman man. Sure you are, lover boy. If you two are really just wed, you don't mind answering a few questions? Do your worst. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but easy, girl. Together now. How did you meet? Uh... uh... We met through work. Where did you go on your first date? Uh... We, we went, went sailing. sailing. All right, that's enough. You believe us? Almost. Almost? What do I have to do to prove to you that I'm not your rival for the voodoo lady? Just take a step forward. Okay. Both of you. Now, let's get down to Brass Barnacles. Brass Barnacles. I have asked you both a series of personal questions, the answers of which are recorded here on these cards. Mr. Threepwood, you'll be happy to know that your wife has passed with flying colors. She seems to know every single detail of your life. You don't say. Now is your turn. Let's see what you know about Mrs. Threep. And I'll believe you are honeymooners. Incorrectly. And... It's the bowels of the beast for... Hold on, I gotta exit out of Discord real quick. There we go. Both of you! Question number one. What was the name of her first love? What's this? A tattoo of the name Gus. Gustavo. Gustavo. Correct. What? How did you... Question number two. Wow. She is quite a skilled fighter. Who trained her in the ways of combat? It's engraved with a name. Dante Dragota. Ooh, he sounds tough. Dante Dragota? Dante... Dante Dragota. Correct. The third and final question. She was recently affected by the death of someone very close to her. Uncle what? This is for Chug Bender. Chug Bender? Chug Bender. Well, perhaps I was mistaken. You two might be married after all. Nice! Oh, it's alright. If a guy turns up in a manatee with your girlfriend's locket, a man has a right to ask a question or two. Now, about this sponge. The one you're not after? We're just sightseeing, right, honey? That's right, Pookie Pie. Well, perhaps you would like to join my crew. It could make a romantic tale for your honeymoon scrapbook. I'd love to join your crew. I'm gaga for scrapbooking. We'll find La Esponja Grande in no time. Magnifico! What's next? A stool sample? No, you look like a man of fair constitution. Now, any questions? <laughs> fair constitution. When are we due to arrive? Whitey is uh, getting antsy. Ah, well, I'm afraid the manatee has been lost for some time now. Lost? He's not a unit, is he? His plumbing is still in working order, but his internal compass is another matter. How can you tell? Around and around he go. I have deduced that the problem lies within the manatee's inner ear, so I'm crafting him a new one. That explains the spinning. How are you building an inner ear? I am weaving the husks of manatee throat grubs into a new cochlea for the beast. It's the only way. Ooh. If you could bring me some, we'll save precious time. I'm on it. I want shanks. Wait, hold on.
No! I hope that worked. Did I miss it? You have a crew? Are you counting your mood swings as members? I set out from Blossom Island all those years ago. Four Thank other friends told all of whom were to play a special role in finding Lysponja. I may have been a stern leader, but I love them like sons. Were you forced to eat them? I would have rather starved than see harm befall them. Alas, they perished in the belly of the beast long ago. Torturous demise. Sorry about that. Sometimes I can still hear their screams. That's creepy. These sacred manatee mating grounds. It's the home of La Esponja Grande. Oh, nobody can say. Hi. It looks like all we have to do is skin a few manatee throat grubs for the old man, and then build a giant synthetic cochlea to replace the missing one up in the ear canal, and we'll be on our way. Or you could give me my sword, and I can just cut our way out of here. I'm not letting you slice this poor fellow open. Manatees are gentle giants. Guy brush. Back off, Susie Slicer. Easy. Whoa. Yay! Chapter three is starting. What the fuck? <laughs> Drink. I think we just found the Kava's crew. What you. say you, digested scum? Hey, who are you calling scum, Geppetto? You. Geppetto, get it? Because Pinocchio reference. Welcome to paradise. Paradise? The land of ever flowing relaxation, soothing tunes, and all the i core you can stomach. Ew. What brings you down here? Ew. Just looking for your run of the mill manatee, Coglia. Hey, we've got that's enough. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. And if I did, that would be a secret of the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? Democratically united brotherhood of the manatee interior. United we stand, together we part. And you guys just live down here? You mean live it up? It's our own little slice of heaven. Feel free to stay, but please don't rock the manatee. Here's the plan. You charge Johnny Cirrhosis over there, and I'll jump the leader and eviscerate his vitals. The square playing the bongos shouldn't be a problem for either of us. Whoever gets to him first scores the kill. Personally, I'll be going for his throat. He looks like a biter. I don't think that's a good idea. You're right. I'll keep my distance and shoot for an artery. No, no, I mean, we can't just slaughter these guys. The voodoo lady possessed Dakava and said they were necessary to getting the sponge. Well, what's your plan? I'm going to go talk to them. Huh? Many pirates don't talk. We don't have time to talk. No, sweetheart, this is what I do. So just sit back, relax, and let Guybrush Threepwood take care of things. Go relace your corset or shine your pauldron or what have you. Fine. But don't come running to me when negotiations fail. Negotiation won't fail. Is the mightiest pirate in all the Caribbean, and LeChuck is a pansy. Say nothing if you agree. Huh. All right. Get you later. 
Don't work too hard. Hi there. Guy wears three boy. Hola. I'm Moose. And that's my boy, Santino. He has a name? Uh, yeah. It's more of a moniker. Like the Santino. He's the coolest cat I've ever known. He's a cat? Right on. You talk to cats? Or what the hell? Interest you in a beverage? That's quite the straw. Sometimes you just want a quick rush of my court. This baby does the trick. I really shouldn't. All right, man. But that means you gotta double up next time. Fair enough. Is there a substantial amount of lead in your drink? No, nah, man. This is pure, unfiltered I-Core. I got hooked on this stuff when we landed down here. You're drinking it. You better believe it. And it flows in abundance, my friend. Is well, that what that is? Tell me about i -Core. What sort of varietals does it come in? Any favorite vintages? Three years ago was a solid year. Potent stuff. This here is the orange. I dig it. It's got a bubbly effervescence with a tangy. That's power. fucking gross. Watch out for the yellow stuff you see in the pools, though, man. The stuff will peel the shell off a Nautilus. What's with the funnel? What's with the funnel? That's Jumbo Jimbo, my custom drinking apparatus. I break it out for special occasions. Like lunchtime? It's important to celebrate life, bro. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Pirate History Month. Woohoo! Sounds like he's busy. Just gotta get him drunk a little. What can you tell me about the missing cochlea? Nothing. That's a secret for brothers only. I've been thinking I'd like to join your group. You'd have to talk to Bug Eye about that. He's our unofficial head honcho, hombre. Oh, hi. I was uh, eating and playing a game. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Take your daughter to work day. Are those manatee flesh bongos? Yeah, they produce a great sound. I think it's because they're full of bile. Maybe it doesn't work that way with people. Ahoy there! Oh, hi. You're in charge of the tunes, huh? I just like to play. It relaxes me. I can relate. I went through a mouth harp phase. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. I'm Noogie. What's your pretty girlfriend? What's his name, Noogie? Oh, she's not really my girlfriend. Her name's Morgan LaFlay. Why, you think she's hot stuff? Well, yeah. She'd chew you up like a pinky finger in a piranha pool. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's see. I've been thinking I'd like to join your group, Tris Beat. I like the beat. How about something a little more up-tempo? Oh. This? I dig it. Where's the other guy? Oh, this way. Got it. Ahoy there. I'm sorry, I don't think I got your name. It's Bug Eye. I've been doing some thinking, and I'd like to join the Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. Is that so? Yep. Although I'm applying to the Oligarchical Society of the Alpha.
Why do people do this to me? Pack a farm is safety. This wouldn't have anything to do with a missing cochlea, would it? No way. I just like the cut of your jib. Well, admittance is as simple as a unanimous vote, even for a pirate such as yourself. We're a democracy after all. Noogie, Moose, Santino, and myself founded our collective after growing tired of slaving away on the crews of tyrannical adventurers, always after some meaningless trinket. Like, say, a giant sponge? Precisely. We're never going back to our old lives. The Brotherhood was formed to make sure this adventure is a never-ending. Down with the man and all of that. Would you like me to call a vote? Yes, I'm a shoe in. Yes, I'm a shoe in. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one Guy Brush Threepwood, what say you? Uh, no. Uh, no, I don't think so. What's he got to offer? Brother Moose, what say you? I got a vote with my boy Santino on this one. An obvious no. What? This is ridiculous. Yeah. No, bro. Which is no. Shocker. Not a single yay. This is worse than when I ran for class president. You ran for class. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Okay, I guess I have to make m friends with them. It's locked. Okay, now that I'm done eating, I can maybe talk more. <laughs> you know? Let's see. Ew! That's gross. Well, that's this. not gonna work. What about this one? Of course, that one works. But expedient. This is fucking nasty. I don't like that. But I have to do this one. Huh. Interesting. Yogi, my man. Really use your vote to the Brotherhood. Oh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here, and I don't think Bug Eye likes you much anyway. Well, let me do you a favor. Like? I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morgan Lafay. It had right? to be. You think she'd say yes to a stud such as yourself? Of course. Wow. Okay, if the date goes well, you have my vote. Deal. In the meantime, here is a new member's manual. It might be worth looking over if you're serious. Hazing rituals? By law, we're no longer allowed to use the word hazing. We call them enhanced initiation techniques. <laughs> Delightful. One date coming up. Hey, Mo. What is it? It's not really the best time for this, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? Kind of portly if you ask me. Come on, you should go on a little manatee date with him. No way. I've gained enough romance for one day. Well, what about... Ooh. I want her to tug it tomorrow. Give me the pokey. Go give him a quick back massage. No way. Take him for a walk around the bile pool. Never. Did I say date? <laughs> no, I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? Yeah, really. Here's the play. Shoot. 
it's a three-phase operation. First, you should... Take his hand. Test his grip, in case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Second, you must... Inspect his gums in case he is a biter. for pathogens. In case he is a biter, we need to know what sort of infections we'll be dealing with. Okay. Lastly... Slightly interrogate. Interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Okay, so... Test his grip. Inspect his gums for disease. And then... Cool. Interrogate. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. I don't even know if that actually worked. Hold on. I don't... Yes, I caught Toki Demaru! I forget. Isn't that one the round ball Pokemon? Not Voltorb or Electrode. I'm... Yeah, it is. It's the one I was thinking of. That was the date? This one. Uh oh, what happened? She just walked over and took my hand like she owned me. Hey, See? Some guys are into that. Come on. Warm a guy up first. Get to know a fella. Wow. I'm sorry things didn't go as well as you'd hoped. It's not your fault. I just don't think she's for me. Well, do you think I could have your vote anyway? I don't think so. Let me go talk to her. I still see love in the future for you two crazy kids. Okay. Okay, great. Hey, Mo. What is it? I need you to go on another recon mission. Who this time? Well, Noogie again. I just don't think our information is solid. Really? Okay, I'll do my best. That's the spirit. It's a three-phase operation. First, you should... <clears throat> Slightly interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Second, you must... Take his hand. Test his grip, in case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Lastly, inspect his gums for pathogens. In case he is a biter, we need to know what sort of infections we'll be dealing with. Okay. Okay, so... Interrogate. Test his grip. And then, inspect his gums for disease. You got it. Good luck. I could be wrong. Sense. Thanks. I could have done it the wrong way. Judging by that, though, hey, it was right. The date? Terrible. Uh oh, what happened? It was going all right for a minute. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Well, then what? Dang, she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. That doesn't sound so bad. But then, she shoved her hands into my mouth. Why would I ever want that? But different strokes you know not for this guy man I'm s it's not your f let me go talk to her okay okay now I know what I did wrong hey Mo what is it I need you to really it's a three um slightly interrogate him okay second Test his grip. Take his hand. Okay. Lastly, check for weapons. Check for weapons. Give him a pat down. Okay. Okay. Interrogate. Test his grip. And then check for weapons. Thanks. I gotta check something real quick. Pokemon hey, Go. That was the date? At first, I was really nervous. Yeah? It turned out great. She was so into me. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Nice. Dang, she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base. Mr. Big Stuff over here. And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. It was awesome. The perfect date. Glad to hear it went well. So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. 
I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too. For me, are you there sick. still? Getting creepy. I'm not <laughs> making it so <laughs> you have to be here. I'm just wondering if you are still here because it doesn't tell me who's watching right now. It just tells me people are watching. Think I could count on your vote? Man, that's a tough one. I try not to get too wrapped up in the politics of the group. That's the beauty of democracy, man. Let other people make the big decisions, and you can just ride the wave. I just ride the wave, bruh. How many more days? Oh, nine days? I have enough time. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Righteous. What's the occasion? Diwali. Diwali? Woohoo! I don't know what Diwali is. Let me look that up. Okay, I figured out who, um, whatchamacallit, who donated a dollar. It was Lion, he was, not gaslighting, what's the word? He was throwing us off his trail, basically, until I saw, like, I went on to Tiltify. And uh, it shows who tips, basically. And the name, wait for the name, Big Black Dick. That was not what put me on his trail. What put me on his trail was the comment, let me smell your fart. Like... <laughs> It, it makes it too obvious because yesterday he was joking about uh, when we were joking about it on his stream. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. I thought it was really funny. What's the occasion? Yeah, line was the first donation. Fruit Tuesday. <laughs> Money farts. Oh, you're you're funny. Hey, at least we got one dollar so far, you know, I don't see a problem with that. Hi. Sup? Are you drunk yet? See ya. Later on. Come here often? What's with the no votes? I wasn't the one who killed you. Was I? Later. Don't work too hard. Hi. What's up? Drink up. I propose a toast. I propose a toast. It's a special occasion. Actually, I need to what check occasion? how to get his voice. I'm in vote. Did I mess up? No. Maybe. Oh, I did. I looked it up on something else. Okay. Get smelling salt, salt. Okay. Check Centino the skeleton. Take your daughter to work day. Woohoo! Oh. There's a grub on the floor. Oh, I didn't realize there was a grub right here. Hold on, how do I... Are those manatee flesh bungos? Yeah. Idiot. How do I... Is it... Is that a grub? Oh, it's not... Oh, no, 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 no. I saw it. I saw it. Right there. Ew. 
slimy grub. I think it likes me. Okay. What do I do with the grub? Go ahead and talk to Bug Guy, punching it. Uh, working in Moose runs to watch the pirate face off. Okay, what do I do with the grub? Let me just, uh, go over the, did I miss something? So yeah, you're wrapping presents. You're 26, right? Yeah. Got anything, got any kids? Probably not, you're only 26. I mean, you can have kids, I'm not Let like... Me out of here and I'll spare your miserable life. I'm not saying you shouldn't have kids at 26. Get who out of where? What the I fuck? Can't feel my legs. Is it the treasure chest? It's locked. If it's family, that's cool too. I mean, like, there's no reason not to get presents for family. Oh, you're on your own? Well, <laughs> enjoy it while it lasts because any parent will tell you that having kids is a pain in the ass. I don't have my own kids. I'm only 19. If I, if I did have kids, my mother would kill me. But... I've heard a lot, and, um, I was a lot, so. What do you say about giving a nod to old Guyber Streetwood come voting time? Sure. Come on, what? Wait, really? You can have my vote as soon as you beat me in a pirate face-off. Oh, you God, how do I face off again? Is this gonna hurt? Just your pride, Johnny Cakes. I give you my best pirate face, and then all you have to do is top Oh, I get it. Counts. I'm a pirate with a face. This should be a cinch. Oh, a face off. I get it now. I'll go first. All right. We're ready for some pirate face off action. It's Bug Eye, the Viceroy of Visages, versus. Uh, uh, Guybrush Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Let him have it, Bug Eye. It's the Arr. stinky, lazy eyed, meanie. All right, my turn. Do your worst, Guybrush. Show this egalitarian bozo who's boss. Now, check this out. It's the Arr. Stinky, lazy-eyed, meanie. Ha! That's it? Yep. Did you miss me saying originality counts? Or are you such a pathetic pirate that you had to copy my face to a T? Really, Guybrush? Come on. I had a... My... Okay, what was that? Mighty pirate indeed. <laughs> Ouch. Bummer, dude. It just slipped out of her hand. Watch, she'll realize her mistake and hurry back for it. Wait for it. Wait. So, pirate faces. Better go cop a few new mugs if you want to upgrade for mi Ooh. 